Now and it's our Money Monday and last week celebrities, CEOs and many others were named in a 50 person indictment for admissions fraud to some of the top colleges in our country. While college is an accomplishment that is sought after by many, only one third of Americans actually hold a college degree. So what if college isn't for you or the student in your home? Our money man Stephen Hughes is here this morning to give us three ways that you can support the student in your life who may not have college in the cards. How are you doing? Good to see you, I'm Stephen. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. All right, let's jump right on in. The first thing that you have for us is support these students in business because not everybody, not every high school student right now may want to go to college. That might not be in their future. Yeah, true indeed. And I remember when I was in high school, like I asked my high school teacher in business she could make two additional business classes so I think that early on some students are just interested in business and um, it didn't have to be an app or in tech that you can support a student right now mm -hmm. uh, even if they're solving a problem that is as simple as babysitting or something that is like specific to your neighborhood or community um, help them get things started or introduce them to a, an entrepreneur in the community I like that help them think outside the box Indeed. there uh, another step is help them learn a new skill and I think that's one thing a lot of students they might be afraid to do is, is learn a trade skill or something like that. And I think that, um, you know, with our technical college systems, like the, I mean, Mendel's Tech is a, is a great school, for example, but um, even if the four-year institution isn't for you, you can still go to a two-year school and not have to worry about gen ed classes and jump into whatever profession that you're interested in. So, you know, if you want to be an electrician or you want to be an HVAC specialist, then, mm -hmm. I mean, that's going to be some solid income, 60 yeah. and up. So uh, that's definitely something to consider and help your student kind of go that path. And they get that hands-on experience right away, too, which exactly. you know, a lot of people learn from. All right, your third tip is find an apprenticeship. Yeah, and you just mentioned hands-on experience. It doesn't get more hands-on than the apprenticeship. And I think that a lot of people don't think about those because they were kind of uh, dwindling for a while, but they're mm -hmm. on the rise again with people learning actual experience and getting paid to learn on the job. Um, and with ex apprenticeships, you're getting a, a built-in mentor. Yeah. So um, there's so many benefits in that. And school districts, you know, parents can talk to their schools or their guidance counselors to see what organizations have uh, company-sponsored apprenticeships right in the district now. You know, I, I spent several years before I moved back here working with young people and working with teenagers. And from that time from high school into college, a lot of people, they don't they don't know what they want to do. They don't want to waste all that money, right. you know, when going to school. So these are all good options for them to kind of explore, you know, some other trades and other tools that might be out there for them. One thing that I wanted to mention to you is, as we talked about the scandal and we look at these, these celebrities who were involved, one of the things that I noticed and I mentioned to you is Lori Loughlin's daughter, Olivia Jade, she was already well known on, on YouTube. Exactly. She already had a name for herself and watching her YouTube videos, it almost seems like she didn't really want to go to school. She didn't want to, it didn't seem like she wanted to be there. Yeah. It didn't seem like she wanted to be there. And with the, I guess, the following that she had mm -hmm. at that point, like she could have decided that she wanted to be in media or, yeah. you know, be a, an influencer. But um, I think that it's, it's a mistake to push a student too hard into college yeah. if you know that that's just not for them, that's not where they want to go, that's not what they want to do, and they already have something that's brewing while they're in high school. And that's, I think, for, for parents to pay attention to is, you know, pay attention to what your student is saying and help them cultivate that because you don't want to push them into a situation where they get into it, they're not going to excel academically, or, you know, they're just going to end up getting kicked out or dropping out of school that way. And, and we're talking about uh, people who are celebrity CEOs, people who have a good bit of money. Yeah. Like, now, if we're thinking about the average American, like, you don't have the money to shell out for putting someone in mm -hmm. school if they don't want to be there. So yeah. think about tens or thousands of dollars that may be in student loan debt or something like that down the road where, you, where your student doesn't graduate. Uh, so many options for you, Stephen. Okay, real quickly, how can people, if they have more questions for you, how can they get in touch with you? Uh, they can follow us on Facebook or Twitter. It's No Money Inc. That's K-N-O-W-M-O-N-E-Y-I-N-C. And I'm No Money Steve across all social media platforms. And K-N-O-W-M-O-N-E-Y-S-T-E-V-E. -E. All right, and real quickly before we go, we got to say a happy birthday to Stephen. <laughs> Today he's celebrating his birthday. Thanks for being here. I appreciate here. that, man. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more News 19 this morning after the break.